Hey everyone! This is a follow-up to our size conversion video because I wanted to share a few more tips and important points to remember about using conversion sliders. Although this video is titled Size Conversion Tips, most of this stuff is also useful for making body type conversions. The best way to learn and get comfortable working with sliders is to just make or load some in and start playing around. If you aren't sure what something does, Press the button and see. As long as you don't save anything, you won't mess stuff up. So when should you use a conversion slider instead of editing a mesh manually? This is totally personal preference. But in general, I follow these principles. Sliders are especially helpful when you need to make big changes. If you've only made one size and want to make the other, if you can't figure out how to delete the same vertices from both sizes of a mesh, and probably what people want the most, body type conversions. If you have only made small changes to one mesh and need to make those changes to another mesh, then a slider may be more trouble than it's worth. Use your own judgment here and do what makes the most sense to you. I have noted before that you can make a slider with any kind of mesh, even meshes that are tools and do not work properly in the game. Because of this, I recommend as a general rule that you replace reference bodies that you use to make your sliders with the real body after you have used the slider. This is the safest approach because it will ensure that your outfit contains a real working body rather than a tool shape. If the tool shape ends up in your outfit, you can have wrist and ankle seams, weight painting problems, partition problems, texture problems, and probably other issues. For body slide projects, always use load reference and bring in the body you are making the outfit for. This will ensure that you've got all the right body sliders for the project. For standalone size zero and size one NIFs, then just use the underscore zero and underscore one versions of the bodies. Load them into Outfit Studio with your outfit and then export the final outfit using the new real body that you loaded in and not the one that you used for any sliders that you made. Meshes that cover more than one part of the body, such as boots that cover the feet and part of the legs, are a little more complex since you have to deal with multiple reference meshes. It's not too bad once you get used to it, and please note that there are different ways to get the same end result. My preferred method is to make and use a whole body reference. You can make a whole body reference for different purposes, even for working with body slide projects. Today I'm only going to cover making one for size conversions. I'll make a separate video later for other types of whole body references. For this example, I'm going to build a UNP whole body mesh for size zero and size one, and I'll be doing it with this safe for work version. This represents probably the most complex example because of the number of meshes. So you may have a much easier time if you choose a different body type. And to be frank, if this wasn't for a video that needs to be PG, I would just use the naked body for this. Alright, in order to make a whole body size conversion slider, we first have to build both the size 0 and size 1 whole body meshes. Bring in the size 0 body. Then bring in the size 0 hands and size 0 feet. The UNP body, and the vanilla body if you choose to use that, have transforms that we have to deal with before we can continue. So I'm going to do that real quick, and please see video number 40 if you need to see this in more detail. Although I'm not showing it here, for vanilla meshes be sure to also check the coordinates tab. If the X, Y, or Z coordinates are not zero, set them all to zero and tick the box on for recalculate geometry's coordinates so it doesn't move. Next, we need to make all of these meshes match so that we can merge them. They have to have the same textures and same partitions. 
For textures, the easiest approach is to just remove them all together. Remember that this is okay because these meshes are only tools and we will never use them in the game. Double click on each mesh to open the properties window, then hit remove to get rid of the textures. Do that for all the meshes. Then we have to set them all to have the same partition. Select each mesh one at a time, go to the partitions tab and set everything to 32 body. If there is more than one partition, delete any extras so that each mesh has just one partition and it is set to 32 body. After that, we are ready to merge. Pay attention to the order in which you do this for the size zero meshes because you're going to have to do it exactly the same for the size one parts. Right click on a mesh, select merge geometry and choose what to merge it into in the drop down list here. Continue merging all the meshes until you are left with a single whole body mesh. Export this as a new NIF to whatever location you want. Now we have to repeat all of that for the size 1 body parts. Unload the project, then load up the size 1 body, hands, and feet. For UNP or vanilla bodies, go to the Bones tab, tick Show Pose, and apply to mesh. Go to shape, check for bad bones and hit OK. Finally, go to edit and select reset transforms. Remember that for vanilla meshes, there is an extra step as I described above and in video number 40. Then go through each mesh, double clicking to open the properties and remove the textures. In similar fashion, go through each one and make sure there is just one partition set to 32 body. The last step is to merge all the meshes and be absolutely certain that you merge them in exactly the same order as you did for the size zero body. When you have a single whole body mesh again, export this as your tool size one mesh. Now make your slider as we've done all the other sliders, starting with the size zero body and importing the size one body as your slider data. If you did not merge things in the same order, you will have an issue. The only fix is to redo it and this time pay very close attention to the order of the merging. I suggest making both the forward and backward slider and then saving this as a project so you can use it anytime. Once the project is saved, you can delete these merged NIFs if you don't think you'll ever need them again. This whole body slider is very handy for long boots and long gauntlets or any type of mesh that extends across the feet and the legs or across the hands and the arms. As I've noted before, skirts are one type of mesh that doesn't work particularly well with sliders. If you try to make a size conversion for a long skirt, it doesn't really make the skirt bigger or smaller, it just deforms it a bit. So I recommend that skirts generally be handled manually. Or you can create a slider specifically for skirts using similarly shaped meshes. To handle the skirt manually, you can first conform all to your size conversion slider and then select the skirt vertices and remove them from the slider. Then use the slider, set the base shape, and this will resize everything except for the skirt. Now select just the skirt vertices and use the transform tool to resize the skirt. Use your artistic sensibility here. And some skirts may need to be adjusted more than others, depending on the shape of bodies that you are working with and the shape of the skirt itself. There are other ways that you can handle skirts, so this is just one idea and you may have to get creative to figure out the way that works best for you. We just talked about skirts being a bit of a problem and another problem area that needs extra attention is the female chest. Sliders will often create odd and unnatural cleavage morphing of an outfit. 
This is not how most clothing works in the real world, and it looks a bit strange. Luckily, mod authors have come to our rescue once again, and there are tool references called uniboob bodies that can be used to prevent this weird morphing. Similarly, some bodies also have unibutt references, uniskirt references, and the like. I'll be making a video later in this series about how to use these references, but I wanted to make you aware of their existence in case you want to play around with them. By now, you hopefully understand that making an outfit for a body slide project is a bit different from making the standalone outfit NIFs to put directly into the game. To put an outfit directly into Skyrim without building it in body slide, you have to make both a size 0 and size 1 version if the outfit weight slides. In contrast, if you are making an outfit to be used in body slide, then you do not need size 0 or size 1 NIFs. Instead, you have to fit the outfit to a reference shape that is neither size 0 nor size 1. Body Slide will then use these reference NIFs to create the size 0 and size 1 NIFs when you build the outfit. If you have an outfit that is Body Slide compatible, it's easiest to simply build what you want in Body Slide, and then you won't need to worry about size conversions at all. However, if you really don't want to use Body Slide, then you can take an existing reference NIF and make the size 0 and size 1 NIFs from that yourself. To do this, you have to make a conversion slider from the body reference shape to its size 0 and or size 1 shape. I'll show you how to do this for CBBE as an example. In the CBBE body mod, open the Caliente Tools folder, then body slide, then shape data. Here is where all the NIFs are located for all the body slide projects in the CBBE mod. We want the body, so open the CBBE folder and find cbbebody.nif. This is the CBBE body slide reference shape. Load this into Outfit Studio. Next, make sure you have the size 0 version of the CBBE body that you want. If you have the naked body installed in the shape you want, then you should be good to go. If not, you'll need to pull it out of the CBBE mod download. As long as you did not delete the mod archives from your mod manager, you can find this in either the Vortex Downloads folder or the MO2 Downloads folder. Double click on the zip file to open it up, find the folder for the naked body shape that you want, and for CBBE, it would be Required Slim, Curvy, or Vanilla. And you can use either the regular version or the Outfit version. The Outfit version has a slightly different shape that represents what the body would look like if someone was wearing support garments underneath the clothes. Open the folder, then Meshes, Actors, Character, and Character Assets. Extract the underscore zero and underscore one body files that you find there to a location of your choice, such as the desktop. They will either be called female body or female body astrid, and either one is fine. Now we make the slider. Select the CBBE reference body that we loaded in. Go to slider, new slider, give it a name, and click OK. Then click the slider pencil, go to slider, import slider data, import NIF. Navigate to the size 0 CBBE body that you want from our previous step. Select it and hit open. And that's your conversion slider made. Load in the body slide reference outfit, then set the CBBE reference body that you use to make the slider as the reference. Conform all the meshes to the slider, move the slider to 100%, and then set base shape. Now your outfit is in the size 0 shape of the body that you want. Select all the meshes, including the body, for your outfit, and export as the underscore 0 version. Now make the size 1 version. 
Remember that we can't use this slider again now that we've set the base shape, so we start over. Unload the project. Bring in the CBBE reference body again. And this time I'm just going to load reference right in Outfit Studio. Delete all the sliders since we aren't making a body slide project. Then select the body and make a new slider. This one will be for the reference shape to the size one shape. When you import slider data, select the size one body shape that matches the size zero version you used before. Then conform all to the new slider, move it to 100%, set base shape, and export the outfit, including the body if it came with one, as your underscore one version. And that's it. You can put these NIFs into a mod as a replacer or a new item, and then head into the game to test them out. With that, we've finished our size conversion episodes. And now we are finally moving on to body type conversions. I've got lots of videos planned for this because there are so many different body types and there are different ways to go about doing these conversions. I want to be sure I've covered all the approaches you can take and that I show enough specific examples so you will be able to take on whatever kind of conversion you want. If you have worked through these last few videos with me, you should be feeling more comfortable with conversion sliders, and you'll be ready to start the next part of this journey. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!